<laughs> hi. Hello. Okay, when I say hi, you say hi. Hi to your seatmate. Say hi. And hello. Do you feel great today? I can't hear you. Do you feel great today? If you feel great, say, I feel great. Do you feel great today? Okay, with conviction and style. I feel great. Awesome. Okay, one more. One, two, three. Do you feel great today? I feel great. Awesome. Okay. First of all, I would like to say mabuhay to all our uh, international speakers. Let's give them a big hand. You know what? I usually speak for two to three hours, but I only have 15 minutes to do this. So... I will make this fast. My focus is the power of your voice in audience empowerment. Just to give you a background, you know, I've only learned how to speak English when I was 16 years old. I don't even understand what my teacher is saying when, he, when she or he is teaching English. Who among you hear that English is their second language? Please raise your hand. But then again, for me, English really becomes one of my passion when I was in UP because my, my course is English creative writing, even though I don't know how to speak or write in English. And I transfer to speech communication even though I don't speak English. Why? Because I believe English is an international language, right? Paano kaya ako nagtatagalog ako dito? Naiintindihan kaya ito ng mga taong nakikinig ngayon? Do you understand what I'm saying, sir? <laughs> wow, what did I say? Just don't ask me to repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> and as you know, I'm going to focus on the power of your voice. I'm an international author, and also I'm also a, a National Book Awardee. Last year, I won the National Book Award that focuses on a, a profession category. My book is called Gusto Kong Maging Voice Talent. Yay. And it's actually sold, it actually sold more than 10,000 copies around the country. And it became one of the readings for mass communication students in the Philippines. I always believe that there's no such thing as boring subject, only boring. Teachers, Teachers you said that. And there's no such thing as boring seminar or workshop except boring. Teachers. But... Pops chose not to be one. Yeah. I've been to a lot of conferences. They have a very good content. But at the end of the day, it's how they say it, right? Especially with our international speakers here. I am so surprised and amazed that, you know, at the end of the day, we are all learners. And still, we, we don't stop learning, right? Because once you stop learning, you already die. Speaking should be fun. Do you believe so? For me, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you say letter F in speaking? Sir, anyone? Fantastic. Any, 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 any word that comes to your mind? What? Fun. <laughs> of course. Focus, of course. Of focus, anything. Family? Fantastic, fabulous, any, any F? Fear, of course, fear of public speaking. Okay, who among you know what is, the, uh, what is fear of public speaking, also known as? Glossophobia, right? Have you heard of it? But for me, when you say letter F, the first thing that comes to my mind is participation, you know? It's very important that we participate in any talks like this. All right? Remember, participate. Okay? Participate. U, U stands for anything that comes to your mind. In, in, unique. Very good, sir. Because if you're not unique or different, it's just like you, you listen to the same topic and the yeah. person. Yeah? Anything. Understanding. Very good, ma'am. We need to understand each other. Sabi ko nga kung nagtatagalog ako dito, anong gagawin ng mga foreigner, di ba? What I said is, what if I'm speaking in Tagalog, would you understand me, right? 
Very good. This is you more. Palakpakan na. Let's let's give him a big hand. You more. Yeah. Because if there's no humor, it's boring. <laughs> and last one, letter in, letter in. You know, in Philippines, we spell not letter F, letter U, letter N. It's letter I, letter U, letter in. That's how we pronounce it. Letter N, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Entertaining. <laughs> Entertaining, very good. What? You know what? They're so intelligent. <laughs> they know everything. You know, uh, at the end of the day, we should end, enjoy, right? If you don't enjoy the talk, well, even it's really uh, something sensible, it's like nothing. Always remember, in speaking, you should participate. There should be humor and letter. We should enjoy. Very good. You know you're spilling. You know, I'm a visionary. My vision is to make... Who among you are visionaries here? Everyone, right? You know, in Philippines, when we say, if you don't have a vision, then you, are, you have a bisho. <laughs> you know, bisho? You know, like a drug addict, something like that. And my vision is to make the Philippines the center of voiceover excellence in Asia. Because I believe in Filipino talents. As you know, the Philippines is the number one in terms of call centers, BPO. Did you know that? That when you call in the U.S., some, someone from the Philippines will answer your call with a different name. <laughs> His name is Juan, but when he answered, Hi, hello, this is John. <laughs> Can you imagine if the call center is in China? Just imagine. <laughs> you know, uh, this man is one of my idol and mentor. He is the voice of one of the top TV stations in the Philippines. He's the one saying, Panic sa katotohanan, panic sa pagbago ng bayan. ABS, CBN. Well, ABS is the number one TV station, and I'm one of the directors there. Who is the voice master? You know, in the intro, they say, I am the man behind a thousand voices, the man who created all the voice talents, dubbers in this country. Well, that is true, actually. For 15 years, I've been training a lot of voice talents, speakers, CEO, vice president, senators, congressmen. And aside from public speaking, there's also money in consultancy and training, right? Do you believe so? There are more money than speaking. But it's not my purpose and goal. Actually, it's my motivation is to, to, uh, to change the way people look at their voices. Because imagine without your voice, who are you? What is your favorite animal anyway? Can, can you say it to me? One, two, three, go. Can you do the sound of your favorite animal? Do it now, go. Now, I would like you to talk to your seatmate using that sound without any words. One, two, three, go! Oh, oh my God, this is a disaster. Can you imagine the world without speech? Because without speech, the world will perish, right? Our voice is the number one tool that makes us human. It is the only tool that can start a war. A war doesn't start just by spanking someone or just doing any action. It, you have to say something first, right? But the good thing about the voice is it's the only instrument that can say, I love you. Oh, can you say I love you to your seatmate? Oh. I'm also a social, positive social change advocate. I'm from Hage Institute in Hawaii. Anyone from Hage here? It's actually an evangelism school in Hawaii. I'm a global citizen. I believe that I'm just, not just a Filipino citizen, but I'm also a citizen of the world. Right? Who among you are dual citizens here? Filipino citizen and senior citizen. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm a traveler. And I believe that traveling is the number one teacher. Because it, you are experiencing a lot of things that you can't experience in a classroom, right? So I traveled in more than 30 countries. I've been to 50 provinces of the... Uh, this country, and you know, I just came from Naga. I spoke to a regional uh, entrepreneurship summit, and it really uh, inspired me to do more inspirational talks because a lot of uh, young kids are now getting into entrepreneurship because of the motivation and empowerment that I've told them. Anyway, uh, who among you loves to uh, use social media? Thanks to Sir Tom. <laughs> He, he, uh, he shared his secret to us. That's true. SEO is the number one because 90% of my clients 
search for me on Google. Can you add my hashtag, hashtag Puchology? It's like psychology, but only for me. <laughs> it's original, right? You have to be unique. And I'm proud to be Filipino. Uh, who are Filipinos here? Raise your hand. Are you proud to be Filipino? Yeah. Yeah. Please clap your hands if you, you are proud to be Filipino. You know, speaking in a in conference like this really makes me proud to be Filipino. I thought I can speak in English, sir. Thank you. But you know, the truth is I speak like this when I speak in, Tagal in English. Before, I speak like that. My name is Pocholo Gonzalez. I am from Maribeles, Bataan. You know, that kind of sound. But you, you know, a very famous boxer, like, ah, thank you very much. Uh, you know, I uh, did my beats, but my beats wasn't good enough. You know, that's Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> I'm a storyteller, and I believe everyone has a story to tell, right? Yeah. Who, who among you believes that you are a storyteller? Raise your hand. But the question is, what kind of story are you telling? When I say everyone has a story, but share only those who inspire and motivate others. Right? Kumbaga sa Tagalog, lahat ng tao may kwento, share mo lang yung may kwenta. <laughs> I'm a youth and children advocate. I, I'm giving a lot of... Uh, forgive me, sir, because I always give a lot of free talks to children. Because I cannot... <laughs> I'm, I'm focusing on the young people. It's my advocacy. But when I ask corporate, I, I can ask something like a thousand dollar. Is it okay? It's my, on my advocacy <laughs> side. <laughs> yeah. And I'm a voice coach of a lot of politicians. I am their secret weapon. You know, sometimes a lot of uh, top officials cannot even speak well, especially those CEOs, right? Do you believe so? They can only speak to their constituent, not to other people that they believe that they're better than them, right? I'm a voice artist. What is a voice artist? A voice artist is also known as the voice of God. Why? Because we are the one telling you what to buy, what to do, what to eat, what to wear. Imagine a radio and a TV without a voice. And imagine a speaker without a voice. Right? It's like the voice of God. Do you know Pinoy Big Brother? He, Big Brother, you know him? Uh, forgive me if we was sometimes I'm going to speak in uh, Tagalog, but doing some lines of uh, famous personality. Can you close your eyes, everyone? Close your eyes. And this is how the Big Brother sounds like. Hello, Big Brother. Kamusta? Housemates. Pumunta kayo sa confession room ngayon. Uh, ano pa masasabi nyo? Natunawa ako. Eh, at nandito kayo ngayon. Uh, can you speak in English, Big Brother? I'm so happy that uh, all of you are here. And uh, I would like to congratulate you for being here. Thank you, big brother. Let's give him a big hand. That's how he sound like. You know, the, when I was young, we don't have a TV. I, I, I remember Sir Orly told you about this radio drama on, uh, on DZRH every 8 o'clock in the evening. Because I grew up in, in the province, we don't have a TV. The only means of entertainment that I have is radio. Who among you listens to a radio drama? Do you want me to do a radio drama live? Yeah. Do you want... Okay, now again, please close your eyes because you don't want to see me. Okay, close your eyes. Music, please. Isang gabi ng lobi Si Utoy at si Lolo Tasho ay naligaw sa kagubatan. Ha, Lolo Tasho, pasensya na ah. Ang sarap maglaro sa pulo. Ay, naku, sabi ko sa'yo, apo, eh. Huwag kang maglaro dyan. Yan, tuloy, ginabi tayo. Ha, Lolo, may kumagalaw. <laughs> ah, Lolo, may master. Ha, huwag kang magalala, apo. Hindi mo ba alam? Ako, si Kapitan Kangkong. Kapitan Kangkong. Humanda ka sa'kin, sa puno. Itong bangis niyo. Yeah. Ito ba? Ayan, patay na ang puno. Ha, ang galing mo, Lolo. Hindi ako ang Lolo mo. Ako, si Kapitan Kangkong. At dyan natatapos ang kwenta ni Kapitan Kangkong. <laughs> uh, I, I'll translate it for you. It is a story of a boy and a lolo, and they saw a monster, and the monster died. That's, it. <laughs> that's, that's what happened. Hi, 
have you noticed how you react in every time I, I do voices? I don't know if there's a speaker out there in the world that does voice acting while he's speaking. But I guess there's a lot. But in the Philippines, I'm the only one. And it really captures a lot of people's attention. Especially those who are actually be very, very bored. I can do more, but I don't have time to do that. I can perform for three hours, trust me. Anyway, it is because of what I've learned from my masters. I believe that everyone should have a mentor, right? And it's so hard to have, don't have a mentor because you don't have a value that you can adopt from those mentors, especially to those like uh, Toastmasters, like Tita maybe, <laughs> and to all those people who, who were there before you. But the problem is, are these people want to be a mentor? Are these people really want to share something from them, from their experience, right? Because for us, no one actually taught us in public speaking. It is our experience that really teach us how to speak well. And it's actually a result of all the failures that we have done in, my, in our entire public speaking uh, experience. Trust me, Lloyd and I and Ian created Pops because we believe to the future of professional speaking in the Philippines. Thank you very much to Sir Jesse and to those people who really believe that the, the future of public speaking in the Philippines are really lying to the future speakers, not to the past speakers. Because can you imagine if we all die now? <laughs> knock, knock on wood. Anyway, I'm a dubbing director. I teach the actors how to act. Even they act well, I will make them act better. Because of their voices. I'm a broadcaster and I also work with the government and I was featured 100 times on TV and radio. Anyway, I'm going to, to share something. No? And it's not just what you say, but it's how you say it, right? And this is your toolbox. That's your voice. Uh, that is also known as, um, what do you call that? No, it's your voice. Box. <laughs> no. Uh, and these are the tool toolbox: register, paste, timber, or timbre, pitch, prosody, and volume. Register is uh, research shows that we prefer people with lower voices as we associate them with power and authority. Okay. Timbre is the way your voice feels. Can you do this? Ah. Uh, uh, can you feel your voice? Can you do this? Uh, yeah. Before you speak, you try to do that. It will help you a lot. Uh, prosody, it's uh, ups and downs of how you... Because imagine if I'm speaking like this the whole time. I am like a robot. <laughs> okay? Pace, of course, the, it's like a, how, you, how fast and slow your voice is. I need to make it fast because my time is up. Pitch, half and high, okay? And volume. Okay, I'll show you a secret. One of my secrets is how I handle a microphone. I've noticed some of you are handling the microphone like this. You know, I, I'm only using 10% of my vocal volume and power because our voice is like a water. When you don't put it well, I mean, it will spill, right? The sound is like a water. So uh, this is not on the books, but this is what I do. I, I put my, the microphone in, did, on my, what do you call this? Chin, Chin yes. And I own... <laughs> Have you noticed that? I don't use that much power. To make use of these tools, we need to warm up a bit. But we cannot do that anymore. There's a warming up. But the, the most important is to become a better speaker, just speak, 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 right? The only teacher is your experience. So every time you fail, then you learn from it, and then you do better the next, right? So with that, I would like to take this opportunity to say uh, one of my pochologies, uh, pochology. It says, availability is the best ability. 
Even you are the best, you are doing good, or whatever you are, when whoever you are, if you are not on the right place at the right time, like in this occasion, everything is nothing. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you for your availability, because without you, this event will never be a success. Thank you very much, and God bless you all. Thank you very much.